Welcome. Welcome to this call talk about fluvial and torrential flow in open channels. A fluvial flow is a slow moving, tranquil flow in a channel, stream or flume, also technically called subcritical flow. It is best controlled from downstream, such as by a regulation gate or a tailwater condition. This photograph illustrates the fluvial motion of the Seine River in Paris. Fluvial motion which is controlled by a downstream lock structure at Suresnes. A torrential flow is a fast moving, rapid flow in a channel technically called supercritical flow. A torrential flow can only be controlled from upstream, for example, a steep spillway flow being regulated by a gate at the upstream end, as seen here on this photograph taken on the 21st December 2010 at the Wavenhoe Dam Spillway in Australia. The threshold between fluvial and torrential flow is called choking or critical flow. Critical flow is defined when the open channel flow condition lead to the minimum specific energy. Assuming hydrostatic pressure distribution, the critical flow that satisfies the following equation, A cube over B equal Q square over G, where A is a cross section area, B is a free surface width, Q is a discharge, and G is a gravity acceleration. The characterization of fluvial tangential flow is based upon the comparison between the observed water depth and the critical flow depth DC. When the water depth is greater than the critical depth, the flow is fluvial. When the water depth is less than the critical depth, the flow is torrential. The definition of fluvial and torrential flow in an open channel are illustrated in the relationship between specific energy, big E, on water depth, small d, for a given unit discharge, as shown here. In an open channel, the relationship between specific energy on water depth presents a minimum in specific energy. For a specific energy greater than the minimum specific energy, there are two physical solutions two possible water depth, one corresponds to a fluvial motion and the other to a torrential motion. When the specific energy is minimum, there is only one solution, critical or shocking flow. When the specific energy is less than the speci minimum specific energy, there is no physically meaning or meaningful solution, there is no flow. Finally, the reich fraud number in open channels is best defined in such a manner that is equal to unity at critical flow condition using the definition FR, ratio for number, equals the ratio of V to square root of G times A over B. And also there are other definitions. The above is most relevant in open channel flow. The concept of fluvial and tangential flow, specific energy and critical flow condition are essential to open channel hydraulics.